You try to launch CSGO from Steam, press on the play button, the button changes to cancel, then stop, and then play again, without actually launching the game. I already made a tutorial how to solve this error on a desktop computer, and there I gave a very specific solution to solve a very specific problem. As opposed to generic solutions you may find online, and they will tell you to reinstall Steam, reinstall the game, verify game cache, reinstall video drivers, install Microsoft Visual C, redistributables, scan your Windows installation for errors through SFC scan now command, check for viruses, and all that kind of stuff. Copy paste it from one website to another website and repeat it over and over and over and over and over again. The problem is those solutions do not help in these specific circumstances. So if you're experiencing this error on a desktop PC, go check out that video, which might help you. But in this particular case, we have another specific situation, as this is not a desktop PC, this is a so-called gaming laptop. This gaming laptop has two graphic adapters. The first one is built into the processor, that may be an Intel processor or an AMD processor. It also has a second dedicated GPU, which is most commonly an NVIDIA card, but AMD cards are also possible. And if you go to Device Manager in Windows and disable the dedicated GPU, NVIDIA in this case, and try launching CSGO after that, the game will start. You will not be using the dedicated GPU, so the FPS rates may be lower, but still the game will launch. So the problem, as in many cases with gaming laptops, is this dual GPU setup. The internal GPU needs much less power than the discrete one, so it is used in those cases when you don't need the GPU power, for example in Windows Desktop and similar programs. However, when you launch something GPU intensive, like a video game, the laptop starts to use the dedicated video card. This obviously increases performance, but it also increases power consumption, that means the battery life will be much less, and the thermals will be worse, so your laptop will start to overheat. Anyway, in laptops there are two main ways to connect both GPUs to the laptop screen. The first one and the rarest one is a good solution. That involves something which is called MUX. MUX is basically a hardware switch, which switches input to the laptop panel between inbuilt and the dedicated GPU. So basically it physically connects the screen to either the inbuilt GPU or the dedicated GPU. This is the best way to do it, unfortunately it is very rare in laptops. Most laptops, like 99% of game laptops, have the dedicated GPU, NVIDIA in this case, connected through the inbuilt GPU, the Intel one in this case, to the laptop screen. This is probably easier to implement, it also reduces cost, and it also ensures the smooth transition between dedicated GPU and the inbuilt one when you use your laptop. However, this solution is known to cause problems ever since it was released. So it's at least a decade when we have these problems with dual GPU gaming laptops. This particular laptop is from MSI, and even though there are quite a few MSI models with that MUX switch, this particular one doesn't have it. But in most laptops with such setup, the external monitor ports, that is HDMI port or display port somewhere on your laptop, and in some cases HDMI or display port may be routed through a Thunderbolt connection. Anyway, those ports are usually wired directly to the discrete GPU and ignore the existence of the inbuilt one altogether. So if you plug an external monitor to this laptop, disable the onboard screen and use the external monitor, in this case the game may launch as it will be using the discrete GPU. However, you probably got a laptop to be able to use the laptop itself without any external monitors. So this is a driver issue. To fix this, you need to first install the drivers for the inbuilt GPU and then for the dedicated GPU. 
So this laptop has an Intel processor and an Nvidia card. All you need to do is to go to the Intel site, don't go to your laptop manufacturer site, go directly to the download section of Intel website, find your processor, 12th gen in this case, and download the Intel video drivers for 12th gen processor, or for the processor you have. Same goes for AMD. Install those, reboot your PC, and then go to NVIDIA site or AMD site and download the drivers for the discrete GPU. If the laptop is AMD all around, that means the processor and the discrete GPU are both from AMD, you may get away with downloading just one driver package for both. If this doesn't help and the error still persists, you may want to specifically select CSGO to use the high performance adapter, that is the Nvidia card in this case, through graphics settings in your Windows. It's worth mentioning though that this option is only available in Windows 10 build 1903 and later or in later versions of Windows, for example Windows 11. Another place to do the same is NVIDIA control panel. Since the NVIDIA card is not directly wired to the laptop screen, you will have very limited options in NVIDIA control settings, but the one that you need is still there. However, all of this, reinstalling video drivers and selecting the game in both Windows settings and NVIDIA panel settings, are one of those generic solutions you will find everywhere. If the laptop does have a MOOC switch, you can disable the internal graphics altogether in BIOS, however this will rise up your power consumption and reduce the battery life, or as this switch is something not standard, you will have to download some utility from your laptop manufacturer website to use this switch. In case of MSI laptops, this is either MSI Command Center or MSI Dragon. If the laptop has this MUC switch, those utilities will have a special section in the settings where you can select the video card. This particular laptop, as I said, doesn't have this switch, however, when you try to launch MSI Dragon, it throws out an error. And here comes the main problem with this laptop. The owner decided to install not the official Windows 10 image from Microsoft, but instead he chose a chopped down version from some enthusiast who makes those so-called Windows Lite or Windows optimized images. Apparently the person who makes those chopped down Windows installs has very little if any understanding how Windows actually works, and when he or she sees something unknown to him, he decides that if he doesn't know this, Windows definitely does not need this and he chops this out. In this case, among other things, he chopped out the VMI scripting service, which is a very important service if you want your Windows install to work correctly. Unfortunately, in those cases when such chopped down Windows releases are installed, there is no way you can get those chopped out features back. You can do nothing. They are not there and they will never be. So in this particular case, all that was needed is to make a Windows Media install USB with the image from Microsoft. Not a stripped down version by some idiot, but the official Microsoft ISO for Windows 10. Boot it from a USB stick and completely reinstall Windows by deleting everything on the drive. After the Windows is installed, all you need to do is to install first the video driver for Intel in this case, then the video driver for Nvidia in this case. You don't need to install any bloatware from the laptop manufacturer like the MSI Dragon Center, then download Steam and CSGO and after that CSGO launches perfectly and it utilizes the discrete NVIDIA GPU. Once again, this is a specific solution for a very specific problem caused by very specific circumstances, but if you have tried everything else and you are on a laptop, you may give it a go. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.